Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to my YouTube channel, Life Science with KMD. Today, I am going to explain about viroids. Viroids, they are small, covalently closed, circular, single-stranded, infectious RNA molecule capable of autonomous replication, lacking even a protein coat, cause disease in certain plants and humans. They do not produce their own polymerase, therefore use host encoded polymerase for replication. Viroids are catalytic RNAs that cleave RNA to produce fragments containing 5' prime hydroxyl and a 2' prime, 3' prime cyclic phosphate. The movement of viroid in case of popsiviridae are intracellular movement, cell to cell through plasmodesmata, long distance through phloem. Three types of viroid structures has been proposed. One is rod-like secondary structure proposed for potato spindle tuber viroid, the type of member of family popsiviridae. Next is quasi-rod-like secondary structure proposed for avocado sunblotch viroid. The type member of family is Avsan viridae. Next is the complex branched conformation proposed for peach latent mosaic viroid. Viroids replicate autom autonomously by using host encoded RNA polymerase. There are two types, a symmetric rolling circle replication and another one is symmetric rolling circle replication. Members of popsiviroid replicate via asymmetry. Incoming positive circular RNA initiate initially is transcribed into concatameric linear negative strand RNA which then serves as a replication intermediate for synthesis of concatameric linear positive strand RNA. This positive strand RNA subsequently is cleaved into unit length monomer that is ligated into circle. In case of symmetric roll circle replication, the members of Avsan viridae replicate via an asymmetric, I mean symmetric circular replication way. The circular positive RNA is transcribed into linear concatameric strand RNA instead of serving as a direct template for synthesis of linear concatameric positive strand RNA, the concatameric negative strand RNA is cleaved into unit length molecule followed by circularization. The circular negative RNA then serves as a template for synthesis of linear concatameric stranded neg positive strand RNA when subsequently is cleaved into a unit length monomer and circularized. Coming to pathogenicity, although the pathogenicity of viroid is not well understood, it is presumed that viroid cause disease by triggering eukaryotic response called RNA silencing. This silencing normally function to protect against infection caused by double stranded virus by degrading it. Viroid may use this response by hybridizing to specific host mRNA molecule to which they have complementary sequence forming hybrid viroid host and host mRNA double stranded molecule which will elite RNA silencing. This result in destruction of host message and the silencing of the host gene. This lead to disease in the host plant. Viroids are the cause of few plant diseases such as potato spindle tuber disease, citrus excort disease and kadang kadang disease. In case of potato spindle viroids, it is limited to potato growers. First viroid characterized and many variants are described. Here the potato will become elongated. To control this disease, the detection in mother stock is more important and clean seeds should be used for growing the potato. In case of citrus exocortis virod, the causes it causes stunning of plant, shelling of bark, result in little yield loss, useful to promote dwarfing for uh, agronomic advantage, transmitted through stalk and graft. It can be controlled by removal of infected plants, detection and cleaning the stalk. In case of coconut kadang kadang disease, the viroid which caused this disease is a coconut kadang kadang viroid. Every year 1 million coconut palms are killed by this viroid and over 30 million coconut palms have been killed since kadang kadang 
has been discovered the yield of the coconut has been reduced mainly because of this viroid human diseases induced by viroids the only human disease known to be caused by viroid is hepatitis d this disease was previously described to be defective virus called delta agent however it now known that the delta agent of the viroid enclosed in the hepatitis b virus capside for hepatitis d to occur there must be simultaneous infection of the cell with both hepatitis b virus and hepatitis d viroid it causes liver failure and rapid progression of the liver cirrhosis in combination of two hepatitis b virus and d virus has the highest mortality rate of all the hepatitis infection it enter the blood stream and can be transmitted via blood or serum transmission mostly by mechanical transmission of viroid to susceptible host plant under field condition a sick plant may infect a nearby plant by simple contact the viroid can also be transmitted to other plant during handling that is by using a contaminated tool or through seed and pollen transmission via aphid or also reported now how to control this viroid diseases disinfection of cutting tools are most important and we can use cold treatment like storage at 4 degree centigrade for 6 months or more followed by apical shoot tip culture grafting can also be used to eliminate these viroids pre inoculation with protective mild strains of viroids has proved effective to control potato spindle viroid Thanks for watching my video please subscribe to my channel by clicking on subscription button subscription doesn't cost you any money to get a notification click on a bell icon do like and share this video with friends and family if you have any kind of feedback do share it on a comment box thank you